Do you believe in ghosts? Whether or not you're a believer, you'll find that these top 10 scary videos are definitely sus. Number 10. Mysterious Dancing Partner You never have to dance alone if you have a ghost in your home. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, the redditor explains that a friend of his had recorded his son dancing alone to music. When he later reviewed the clip, he saw another child in the background, only they were the only ones there. In the scary video, his child stops and makes eye contact with the creepy ghost kid, who then moves to the left and out of view. Most agree that the child's reaction to the ghost is rather unusual and convincing, as it seems to cause him pause. Hey. Many also note that the ghost child is standing near a mirror but is not reflected in it, and the mystery thickens. Redditor Cernobog243 writes, the little ghost kid has a Damien Omen haircut, doesn't have a reflection in the mirror, and black things coming out of the shoulders that look like wings that block out the real kid's reflection. The more I slow it down or zoom in to dissect it, the weirder it gets. Time to zoom out and speed up and get far away from this demon dancer. Number 9. Creepy Red Storm it's the end of the world as we know it, posted to Facebook by Elizabeth Garcia. This scary video shows a crazy storm brewing overhead. While not necessarily abnormal, the strange thing is the sky. It's blinking red. Is this red lightning, or is there some other explanation for the unsettling light? <laughs> Some in the comments believe greater beings are at battle. Others think it's sparks from Transformers. One commenter says it's the reflection of the sun's rays combined with the lightning illuminating the storm clouds. Whether the end of times or not, it's definitely sus. Number 8. Is someone there? When books are pushed from your nightstand and doors open of their own accord, the first thing on your agenda might be to set up a security camera to capture the source of these mysterious events, published to the Ghosts subreddit by Always Be Lurking. That's what the Redditor did. She writes, This is not the first time I have caught something like this on camera. The scary video shows a woman sleeping in her bed with her back towards the doorway. One of the doors, either to a closet or an outside room, creaks open, alerting her dog lying on the floor. A nearby cat seems to sense that there's something there even before the door pops open. You can see its eyes glare awake seconds before. Many in the comments insist the animals know what's up, whether a ghost or some other mysterious supernatural activity. Whatever's lurking in this home is definitely sus. Number 7. Scary Tracking Device PSA As if there wasn't enough danger in the world, TikToker Sheridan Ellis shares this scary PSA. Her story begins innocently enough, at a birthday dinner with a group of friends. She explains that she brought a purse, as she had decorations and stuff stored in it to help set up the table. She says at the end of the night while cleaning out her purse, she found this nondescript white square device. She said that the device is a tile, aka a tracking device. At the end of the night, I'm cleaning my purse out and I find this. <laughs> You don't know what this is, it's a tile. It's basically a tracker. It's not mine. I don't know how it got in my purse. People normally place the tile on their keys or other items in order to find them when they're lost. But in this case, as she is unaware of its owner, the tile was probably being used for much more nefarious purposes. Sheridan removed the battery from the creepy device immediately upon discovering it and hopefully whoever placed it there did not attain the information they were looking for. Tiles don't have a very far range, so I'm hoping the mystery individual didn't get any tracking information. 
Many in the comments of this PSA recommend that Sheridan take the device to the police, who can help track the tracker. Others suggest taking a different tax by placing it at the doorstep of one of her friend's places in order to capture the suspect in a sting operation. If you were Sheridan, what would you do? Number 6. Creepy Paris Catacombs Below the city of love lies something truly terrifying. Enter and you'll find the former city gate leads into a creepy 18th century ossuary that now holds the remains of more than 6 million people. The ossuary was developed in order to reduce above-ground cemeteries in Paris as they were becoming overwhelmed. Nowadays, the catacombs below the French capital include an extensive network of tunnels, which draw many an urban explorer to twist and turn and crawl through its labyrinth, premiering in February of 2019. Explomo explored the catacombs and came face to face with fear along the way. The crew are forced to splash through a narrow tunnel with water up to their shins. When they reach a fork in the road, they decide whether to enter a tunnel they'll be practically crawling through or continue on a fairly upright path. They make their decision and are exhausted already, having only covered 300 feet in the entire tunnel system, which stretches over 200 acres. Man, watch this at the ratio right now. So Exhausting. They continue splashing through, and at one point, they find a GoPro on the ground. Some sugar. Uh, what's this? From a GoPro. Really? Yeah. yeah. GoPro uh, didn't save come on, yeah. They clearly are not the only ones to have explored the catacombs. The roof of the catacombs features these strange black headed drips. They protrude like alien fingers from the cavern ceiling. Shortly, they arrive at a point where they can fully stand upright finally. They are at another fork in the road and, consulting their map, choose their route. Guys, we finally came to the point where we can actually just stand right up. And we can go this direction over here, or we maybe can go this direction. There is signage in the underground, so they know they've arrived at Rue Lagaz. Okay, right now it says Rue Lagaz. Crazy, man. At this point, they are knee deep in water. Another plaque reads 1876. That's how old this part of the catacombs is. Later, they are crawling through a narrow space, a break in the brick wall, and they leave their bags behind to manage better. If you can see, look what we have to go through. The walls all along the way are covered with graffiti like an underground art gallery. They even encounter a troll holding up the catacomb ceiling. Yeah, just all the walls here are amazing. But this massive structure over here, I absolutely adore. Man, look at it. It's like... Beautiful, right? It's like this massive structure which is keeping the wall. While the crew is enjoying the underground art gallery, more people arrive. They say they're just exploring as well, but the Explomo crew believe they're acting suspicious. We heard people. Bonjour. 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 If you are from Paris? Yes. Also exploring or photograph? Uh, <laughs> we thought these guys were acting really suspicious. Then they smell something strange, which they believe is a noxious gas. <laughs> Thinking the stranger sprayed the gas in the room, they decide to get out of there quickly. Gas in the room, and it smelled like this gas. And if you inhale it too much, you don't get any oxygen anymore. 
So we have to be careful, we have to go out right now, it's not safe. If inhaled, such gas might prevent them from breathing. The crew manages to find their way out of the labyrinth and back to fresh air. While this could indeed have been something creepy, some in the comments say that people do stuff like this in the catacombs for fun. Still, it's better to not take any chances in an underground sea of bones. Finally, the outside. Man. I have. I smell the fresh air again. It's uh, nothing better I can wish in life right now. Number five, scary sleep watcher. Are you sleeping, brother John? Not for long. Published in May of 2021. The scary video caught mysterious movement in a young man's bedroom. Everything seems calm and normal at first, but in a moment the chair at the desk pulls way back, nearly out of view. The young man turns in his bed, perhaps disturbed by the phantom presence in his room. The creepy phantom takes this as a cue to disturb him more. He pulls the blanket slowly from the man's bed, leaving him uncovered from head to toe. The blanket stays crumpled on the floor a couple feet from the foot of the bed. Something else, a roommate perhaps, is seen entering the room, apparently slightly confused as to why the chair and blanket are in the middle of the bedroom. The boy continues sleeping, none the wiser. Would you rather know a ghost is present while you sleep, or are you from the school of thought that ignorance is bliss? Number 4. Scary Hospital Ghost This scary phantom is ready to operate. Posted to TikTok by Parasomnia MX, this footage shows paranormal activity at a hospital. You're inside a creepy, darkened hospital room. In one corner, a small wheeled medical cart starts to inch out from its spot against the wall. No more. It then starts to roll faster before slowing to a stop at the head of the hospital bed. The man casts his camera around the room, looking for any possible explanation. He comes closer to the cart. There's nothing surrounding it, nothing connected to it. Who or what remains in this hospital room? Did a departing soul never leave? Number 3. Mysterious Dybuck Box According to myth, a Dybuck box is a malicious spirit that possesses an item. The word Dybuck comes from the Hebrew word for evil, which is rooted in the verb to adhere or to cling. The spirit is said to be a person's dislocated soul, which clings to the host body that it possesses, whether item or person, and leaves only after it's reached its aim. The term has been around since the 16th century, although accounts of possessions have occurred for much longer. Published in June of 2021, Mo Sargi and his crew believe they found a mysterious Dybuck box in a haunted quarry. At the start of the video, Mo sends in an underwater drone to explore the ground floor of a small lake, but not just any lake. This one has ruins of a small shack at the bottom of it so there is plenty of treasure to examine and collect. Once an active quarry, Mo encounters several slabs of concrete, covered over in moss and other water debris. The team comes across other odds and ends, what looks like an old boat, a garbage bin, and finally the dye bug box. Unfortunately, the battery on his drone dies when he sees it, so he decides to dive under and collect it himself. As he's under, he finds this electronic device, which he later discovers is a DVD player. He finds a ceramic owl, which turns out to be a piggy bank. Finally, he pulls what he believes is a Dybuck box lodged in a rock crevice deep at the bottom of the lake. The box has a chain wrapped around it and says, do not open. Someone wrote, do not open. It says, do not open, you're right. You know what? And it's covered in candle wax. Like, look at this. What else would it be, though? I wouldn't be able to it's open like this. Ignoring the warning, he asks his audience if he should open it. What do you think? Should he? I don't know. Should I open this or should I take this with me or should I leave it here? Most viewers in the comments are warning Mo to be careful and not to open it at home. After all, you wouldn't want to release an evil spirit into your house, providing it the opportunity to possess any of your favorite items or your favorite loved ones. Should Mo open this box? Let me know in the comments. Number 2. 
mysterious deep sea creature. According to National Geographic, less than 20% of the ocean has been explored. The rest is a mystery, and even more so, the deep sea whose bottom is almost completely untouched by man. Less than 5% of the ocean floor has been mapped. That leaves mysterious deep sea creatures to roam the ocean's depths. Published in May of 2021 by Our World Today, one of these creatures' remains was found stretching nearly 100 feet across the Mediterranean sea floor. Working in the oil and gas industry, a diver captured this footage while operating a remote control vehicle at 2,700 feet below sea level. The scary long skeleton has not yet been identified by scientists as anything known, but has been called a sea serpent or a sea dragon by the armchair detectives of the internet, while others suggest known creatures like a whale or a fish or a hammerhead shark. However, none of these theories holds up. The dimensions of the completely baffling skeletal structure are unlike any other sea creature known to the region. The skeleton is composed of a straight vertebral column with larger bones on one end. The diver attempted to lift a piece of the vertebrae with the ROV's claw, but the brittle bone crumbled to dust. The diver noted that the bones could very well be ancient, as clay amphora found on the seafloor in this area has been there for thousands of years. Deborah Hatswell, the YouTuber who first shared the footage, said, I thought I would share the footage, as in the past, that has helped put an anomaly to bed. This time, nobody seems to know what it is. Do you want to weigh in? What's your theory? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. What's that in the window? Imagine you're roofing a house when this mysterious figure appears in a neighboring window. That's what apparently happened to the Koch construction crew from Tremont, Illinois. With his camera phone, this scary photo was taken by the son of someone who is friends with the Ghost Research Society. The son, named Adam, was a part of a crew who had been hired by the house's new owners to install a new roof. Adam said that the old woman who lived there had passed away three months prior. He claimed no one had been in the house while they worked, and yet this clear figure of a frail, angry woman is present and watching. If it is true that no one had been in the house the day of, and the days before this photo was taken, then I would have no choice but to believe that this photo is the real deal, whatever it is, considering her scowl. It's surprising none of these roofers fell off. I already have a fear of heights, but seeing something like this would have me nowhere near a roof for the foreseeable future. I hope you're sitting down and are ready for these scary videos, because they'll give you a big, uneasy feeling.